I feel like sometimes the best things happen when you're at like your worst. And just having the most sincere prayer with my Heavenly Father and saying, please just take him. So the day that my dad was going to pass, um, I didn't know it and I wasn't sure when it was going to happen, but I was praying to Heavenly Father to please let me know when or just at least prepare me and I know you can never be prepared but to prepare me as much as possible. I went to the VA and I was visiting my dad just like I normally did and um, he wasn't doing as well. He was sleeping a lot and he kept having amazing dreams where he was with his grandma and grandpa on a mountain and just his kind of like his childhood memories that he was so happy and so he would wake up for a little bit and then he would go back to sleep and I had a feeling I know it was the spirit telling me it's gonna happen today and I I was like no no way you know he's he's gonna be fine he's just so tired and he's gonna be okay and I got home and he started breathing really weird. This breathing that I had never heard before. And so I got home from getting my kids and um, it just kind of everything kind of weighed down on me and I, and I knew it was getting closer but I just didn't know when. And so I got home and for some reason my father-in-law pulled up to my house. I think he was dropping something off. And um, he had lost, he's lost both of his parents as well. And he lost his mom a couple years before. And so he was there and he gave me, he was there to give me a huge hug. I fell into his arms and, cause he asked me, he's like, I'm surprised you're not at the VA right now. And I was like, well, I needed to get them. I'm gonna go right back. So Ryan went back with me and that's when the breathing started heavily and um that's when my aunt sandy showed up aunt sandy phillips and uh she always shows up at the right time uh, to be there for me and for my mom and um there's angels everywhere so we were there all night and um it started to get really late around i can't remember what the time it was it was past midnight and i just had a feeling too because I've been really worried about being there when he passed I wasn't sure if I wanted to be or if I should be or whatever and so I um I had a feeling she'll go home for a minute and get some rest before I left though I prayed to Heavenly Father and I said please let there be angels here with my dad he needs angels right now his parents whoever can be here he needs them and we all need angels with us and I had this overwhelming feeling that they're already here and I had a feeling a couple times one of the times to go outside there's like a court like a kind of like a park area they can go and I went out there and it was like breezy and I could just feel and hear my grandma's talking to me and giving me love and giving me hugs. And so I ended up having a feeling, go home for a little bit and get some rest and you'll be okay and you'll be able to see your dad and he'll be okay. That's what I was worried about. I wanted him to be okay. So I came home and I told my Aunt Sandy to call me when it was getting closer. And so she ended up calling me a couple hours later and she said, Shell, come getting close his um, oxygen's getting really low and so we were going down the street because it's just right down the street from here and we were going around the roundabout I remember going around the roundabout and just having the most sincere prayer with my Heavenly Father and saying please just take him I was like he's so 
suffered so much. And he's done so well. And he's done everything you've asked him to. He's in so much pain. Just please take him out of this pain. And we got into the VA. And it was like it was in slow-mo. Like I wanted to run. But instead I was just walking really fast. And everyone was sleeping there. And as soon as I opened up the door, he had passed right before that. And I feel like it was heavenly. Like, my dad helped me so that I didn't have to be there for that. It was a blessing and a miracle. But at the same time, I still got to see him and his spirit was there. And so I walked in and it just hit me so hard seeing my dad actually know that he was sorry that he was actually gone seeing when the spirit has actually left the body it's night and day it's not the same um you can totally tell the difference and i i just remember walking in and they told me he passed and i i felt like my knees were gonna give out on me and i was just gonna collapse to the ground so i went around his bed and I sat down on the chair and I just was just bawling and I looked up and he was standing right next to my mom on the right on her left side and with his hand on her shoulder he looked so happy and so healthy and he was standing I haven't seen him stand for a long time and he had his hand on my mom's shoulder and then with his other arm He's giving his hospice nurse a side hug. It was the most spiritual thing, and I remember that when he was going to pass, I prayed Heavenly Father for angels, and I prayed that please let this be a spiritual experience and not a negative or a horrible experience that I will hate forever. Please let this be the best it possibly can be and let my dad go peacefully. And so, I saw him and it was beautiful and I I feel like sometimes the best things happen when you're at like your worst. I did that and then eventually I was able to be in the room with just my dad and he was still warm and I was holding his hand and I remember being by him, I don't know if I was at the foot of his bed or by him. and. I could tell he was right next to me and he was giving me a hug and giving me words of encouragement and telling me how much he loves me and that he's going to be just fine and how happy he was finally, you know, and um, I was so grateful for all of that and then just even for the veterans home, I'm so grateful for them and the angels that they were to my dad, they were the sweetest. And one of the things that I wasn't prepared for, I'm grateful for, but I wasn't prepared for, was they do a salute, the last salute when you leave. And they covered my dad with a flag. And they, sorry, they line the halls with everybody. And they salute you the whole way out. And as you pass them, they follow you out. And it was just the most beautiful thing. Hard, but beautiful. And I'll never forget it.